Oh, we're gonna talk about pure fool. And then, yeah. Here we go. I'm just gonna discuss a little pure pool for you. All right, fine. Well, we got two reviews this week. Pure pool is the first one. What so, uh, yeah, what yeah, put it. You're gonna roll straight into that. What, what yeah, genre is this game? Oh Chris? my god! Shut up! Damn it! Chris, <laughs> Chris. hurry it up. All right, fine. All right, wait, so wait, first off, I want to say here, special thanks to Phil from Ripstone for showing us this game at E3. Yeah. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have had any idea this game was coming out. It would have definitely flo flown under the radar for us. So there you go. Um, this is a download title for PC, PlayStation Four. Xbox One is TBA, so it'll probably come out on Xbox One, but it's not out on, on that yet, um, you know. So, pure pool. You can tell from the gameplay here, it's about what, you, what you'd expect. It's a pool simulation. Oh, and, uh, okay. So these guys, though, Vufu, uh, Phil was telling us, Phil from Ripzone, these guys are known for doing photo reel games, and that's one of the things here. I mean, this stands out. So, you know, it does feel like when you're, when you're you know, hitting the balls here, here, what, what is it? Yeah, some of the stuff, some of the stuff is in. Uh, it's it's like, That's like the dirtiest it's, thing you've said on this it's, show. It's British English, right? So it says like, oh, you got to pot the balls. And I was thinking, is that is that like you correct? Like that the was, balls? It's like, yeah, Are we no, really it's potting. It. Put the balls into the pot. So whatever. It's called billiards. Make sure, make, billiards. make sure. No, make, billiards is different. Yeah, put the make, balls make in sure the you're, Make sure you're potting. Yeah, yeah, see, I told you this. Working was, that I told, I told, I told you this was. I told you this was going to be a mess, right? Let's see. What else did I have here? Yeah. Photo real graphics, online. I think the online mode is like this game's, you know, big thing. Got a crit of those ball. Yeah, great. What? I can tell. I can tell this is not so good. Online this, this is never, so online mode is never. So it has a big competitive scene behind it. Yeah, and I there's. Suck at pools, so they've I got this like uh, they've got a DNA yeah, profiling feature. Suck at so balls. if you have people on your friends list, you can play against them offline. They don't necessarily have to be online. Oh, so, so it like takes their profile. And yeah, it, it kind of does an AI based on like their play style. Exactly. Oh, okay. So it's like, it, don't they have that in like Mario Kart? They have, they like, have ghosts that in the newest shit. WWE iOS oh, yeah. cell phone game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that. Sometimes, sometimes it feels like I'm just playing like a slightly better AI though. It, so it, it, what, it, it's good because you can jump into multiplayer games real quick. But I feel like. For me personally, and maybe it's just, I, I haven't played this game, so maybe it's different here, but I feel like sometimes when you play against that, it doesn't have the same exact feeling as playing against another actual player, but I guess it's, you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Especially if your friend isn't on the game at the time. Right, right. So I do want to cover here, before we move on, I do have a couple things to nitpick, but, so as you can tell, there's a couple modes here. I forget which one this one is. There's like a... Uh, there's challenge modes, there's a career mode where you just play against the AI and like different tournament type things. There's one where it's like speed pot or something, so it's like you just keep hitting, you, yeah, you, yeah you, you, try, you try to pot, yeah, you try to pot the balls or you, you know, you try to sink the balls into the pockets. And then I hate the, it when that happens when you just want to sink a ball into a pocket. There's a there's another <laughs> mode it. where it's like if you don't sink enough of them in time, it'll add another one onto the onto the pool table. Wait, it has more balls into the pocket? Yeah, oh. you get hit by more balls <laughs> if uh, if you don't pot them fast enough. Oh my god. <laughs> there's uh there's some customization here. So we're playing on the ripstone table here, but you can change the uh, you can change the pool colors. You can uh, you can get upgraded pool cues and stuff, but I didn't get too much into that. So you can upgrade your shaft. Now, can you color your no, balls? No, you can upgrade. You can upgrade your pool cue. <laughs> Tom, you're killing me. The uh, I'm I'll just mention, discussing so, the mechanics of this game. It's a, it's a download title, so there's not. I mean, it, it's what you'd expect from a from a cheaper downloadable type of game. One thing I want to mention: the soundtrack is actually really really good in this. It's like a jazz lounge style type thing. And there's only there's only a handful of tracks, but the like that was one of the standout things I thought was uh, was made this one appealing. So the, how, wait, how, so how many tracks total? Like on a, like ha like half a dozen probably. Oh. It, it's it's good oh, though. Okay. That was one of the things I liked. Yeah, because so, I was wondering if is that is that really enough where you just keep he hearing the same exact music over and yeah. over ago? Where you like get, oh, oh, oh yeah, I imagine yeah, yeah. Like, you like definitely generic, do. Like bar lounge music to kind of put you in the setting. But yeah. it's with this this whole type of feel it's is little, like, wait, like you're so in this it, like. It, it, it's a little mood music while you're sinking some balls. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah, jackass. <laughs> so you can tell, though, like, the environment here, it's like a lounge, and then, like, you'll hear, you'll hear people in the background chatting and stuff, and you'll hear, like, it's just, like, crowd noise and stuff. Yeah. And then at the end of each song, like, people will clap, and, like, that was just a really cool touch that I thought that yeah. this, this title had. So 
I mean, I played like I only played like a few minutes of it at E3, and from what I played, like it's it was pretty solid. Like I, I from, you know, I enjoyed it. Sure. Um, but you know, it seems like it, I don't know. I, I don't think it's breaking doing anything so new that I'm like, one away. But it definitely seems like a, a solid, uh, like a solid title. Right. So. Well, yeah, that that'll figure into the uh, the score at the end here. So. A couple of things that I did find annoying. I'm trying. I'm trying to see from the footage here. You can't tell from what we're looking at now, but there's there's one thing in particular, and I did see some people complaining about this. You can see how it kind of draws that like it draws that band that shows like where the cue is going to go. Yeah. And so like that that's how you aim your shots. Now if you're trying to if you're trying to hit one of the balls far like way farther down the pool down the uh, down the table, like that thing like. On these longer ones, like it, it's like messed up. Like you can't you can't actually see because there's actually two of them. There's a band that shows where the cue ball is going to go, but then there's another one showing the tra tra trajectory for the ball that's going to be hit. And like on these longer shots, it's just like it just like fizzles out. Like you just can't see where the hell it's going to go. Yeah. And so for some of those, it's just awful. Like it's so bad. Are you sure, it's there but, for every shot because when I'm from watching this, what I got yeah, makes see, me think of uh, it makes me think of. Uh, not Bubble Bobble, but the little dinosaurs. What was the next game they were in? Uh, I don't remember. You know, oh, you know man. what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, bust a move. Shoot. Yep. All right. So that the little banner came, comes back, but it makes me think of Bust a Move when you start off and you have the little aimer, and then it, it goes away after. Yeah. Uh, this one reappeared. So. So that I, that's actually yeah. a cool thing there, where it just showed the uh, like it like when you sink the eight ball, it like slows down and stuff. It, it does that every time. So yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice cool. Little, little, Slow-mo effect there. Right, right. So, so see, yeah, so the yellow band, it shows you where, where your shot is, you know, where it's going to go if you, if you go based on your current, you know, aim. But, yeah, like, farther down, I'm trying to, hopefully the footage will show it, but, like, some of these where the pool, like, the balls will be, like, way down at the opposite end of the table. Like, you cannot, you have no, like, it's just like, okay, like, line it up and, like, hope it even goes close to it. So that was, that was kind of a pain. The rest of it, though, like, it's really intuitive and it's easy to, like, line things up and do it. It's just, I don't know why. And you can't, you can get up, like, I think there's a, what does the thing say? Yeah, you can, you can hit the, for here it's a PC, so it says D to stand up. So you can stand up and, like, walk around and, like, shift the camera, but, like, it still, it still doesn't help. Some of these, you just cannot see where that yellow band is, and it's like, it's like okay, cool, like, it's I'm like just going to do this, cause, waste, yeah. it, waste my shot. So whatever. I do how you do what buttons it's for you to do that shit. Lay down on the table behind the back shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, 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 yeah, they don't it. have that. There's no like crazy trick shots and like bridge shots right, and like in the sequel. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that would have been cool. That, that that didn't that didn't occur to me actually. The other thing I want to mention is the AI in this game. There's times where like like I was playing it, I could tell like all right, yeah, the, the AI is like giving me a free pass. But there's other times where like you'll just sit there and the AI just runs the table out. So you just sit there and watch it, and it's the stupidest thing ever. So it's oh, like shoot. how is this like I'm not even playing at this point. I'm just watching the I'm just watching the AI kick my ass. Yeah. So that that was kind of a letdown. When you run the billiards, sometimes that shit just happens. Yeah. It's true. Well, I guess. Well, in that respect, then I guess it's accurate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're when you're when you're just when you're slapping your balls all around the table, sometimes these kind of Jeez, things just I happen. I opened up a can of worms with this bullshit, didn't I? All right, I mean, well, the, the, the mechanics. Like, the, I, I one thing that I can appreciate about this title is that I really enjoy a good slow motion action replay after I use my shaft to sink some balls on the table. Wonderful. What, what is this Nyan Cat table here? Yeah, wonderful. You know. <laughs> Let's <laughs> let's put up let's put up a score for this yeah, so one. What are you right? talking here? Yeah, so we have it. Here we go. All right. So obviously, you know, you can kind of tell. I think this is what they were going for in here. This is for a pool enthusiast. I don't think you know a casual might pick this up, but you know who. This is the type I of mean, thing they know who their audience. I is. feel like yeah, exactly. I feel like this is very casual. Uh, and the same goes if like if you're traveling somewhere. Uh, if you need something quick to play, like I oh like yeah, this would you, be, could, you could definitely you know, just pick this grab up, grab this, and play for a few rounds. It's awesome for that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I I so when you, was in the wait, pool, so, would be Nick, so, so Nick, this begs the question: So when you're traveling on a short trip, you do like to play with your balls? <laughs> Uh, I did a no, few no, times no, when I was no, at yeah, that, no, yeah, that, 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 in your bathroom. Yeah, that, 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 that if we're gonna make testicle penis <laughs> jokes about this game, if you had this game on the go, you could say that you were playing. Pocket pool. Well, that's lovely. You can say you're playing a little nine stick or whatever they, whatever it is they right, call it's done. pool games. All right, <laughs> let me get so it out there. Get off. The game. The game yeah. looks awesome. Buy it. It's a pool simulator. Still looks really cool. Yeah. 
T- totally. The, I mean, I've played some bad pool games in the past. There were some real shitty ones. This pure pool is the most legit pool simulation I've ever played. It's really good. I remember back in the day, there were some where I, you just sit there, there's a million different controls. If you're sitting there, it's like, dude, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This yeah. is like, what the hell? So, yeah, definitely. If you're into pool, this type of thing, then this game is right up your alley. 